Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. This castle is a medieval fortification in the east of England. When this place was in its heyday, modern comforts like electricity didn't exist, of course. But today, this region is a big deal. It's now a global fortress to protect the planet from pollution and climate change. As a central region of the British auto industry, today this area is home for innovative companies electrifying the transportation and heavy equipment industries. Heavy-duty vehicles construct, mine, grow, and transport nearly everything, including ourselves. But they cause big problems for the planet in terms of pollution. It may surprise you that most emissions from vehicles don't come from passenger cars and trucks. Rather, commercial and industrial vehicles are responsible for about 55% of vehicle emissions globally. But we don't have to keep driving down this road. Electrification can decarbonize even our biggest transport options, from buses to trains, from ships to motorbikes, and even the fleet of delivery trucks. The impact that the transport sector has on the planet is significant. In 2019, the UK transport sector emitted 122 megatons of CO2 equivalent. That is over a quarter of the total UK emissions. As the world looks to move on from fossil fuels to power machines, the companies that make vehicles need both the components and expertise to electrify their fleets. One company in the region is working to do just that. Turntide Technologies provides the electrification technology manufacturers need to convert their diesel engines to clean, quiet electric machines. So Turntide's mission is to invent and scale breakthrough technologies to help humanity use efficiency in a more optimum way. We also have a lot of experience and resource and capability here. Um, you know, the staff that we have have been involved in vehicle electrification for many, many years, over 60 years in fact, um, which is quite a surprise to some people. People don't realize that electric vehicles have been around that long, um, but they've been around an awful long time. And we've been involved in vehicle electrification programs for all of that time. But converting commercial and construction vehicles to electric is not simple. It requires new technologies and new ways of designing vehicle powertrains that are up to demands of commercial use. Powertrain is essentially made up of three main components. First and foremost, you're looking for your energy storage, so that would be the battery pack or potentially a fuel cell in terms of electrification. And then uh, what we also need is the kind of power electronic side of things because the power signal from a battery is DC, direct current. And we need the power electronics and the inverter to convert that into an alternating current. The efficiency of electric vehicles is also very important. And battery technology is growing rapidly. So areas that were currently untouchable, like heavy duty vehicles, like construction vehicles, are now becoming a place where we can actually start to look at electrifying the full vehicle instead of just using the hybrid solution. We've recently, in the last few years, we've worked with a major leading construction OEM such as JCP and also passenger rail in terms of Hitachi, so leading edge OEMs has helped us develop and roll in electrification for our customers. One mode of transportation that is rapidly changing to electric is passenger trains. In the UK, only 38% of the 4,000 miles of track are electrified, and the government is calling to remove all diesel-only trains by 2040. To meet the aggressive goal, Hitachi Rail has been working with Turntide to help speed the transition. So Hitachi came to see us about three years ago. Um, they wanted assistance in being able to use battery technology on rail vehicles. They wanted it to be modular, they wanted to use it on a number of different platforms within the fleet um, for retrofit and for new build. Hitachi is hoping to replace upwards of 3,300 diesel trains in the UK with battery electric versions. This can immediately impact carbon emissions as well as sound and noise pollution. 
In addition to vehicle electrification, Turntide's award-winning smart motor systems is now running in thousands of buildings around the world, reducing energy demands by an average of 64%. These results in Turntide's electrification technology have also caught the attention of major global investors from Amazon, BMW, and Bill Gates' Breakthrough Energy Ventures to Footprint Coalition, started by Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. We're global, so we have products that's in New Zealand, Australia, essentially all, all corners of the globe. So, with, you know, with the, the drive, the regulations, and in terms of the target for net zero, a lot of our products are in cities. So by having you know, zero emissions, cleaner air, quieter, and a lot of our applications as well can now work, a kind of, particularly the mini excavator that we do for JCB, you can do that indoors, you can do that in built up areas, and it can run for longer. So the whole environment, we're benefiting from that. The bottom line, by switching the energy source of heavy duty vehicle fleet from dirty diesel to clean electricity, we can significantly reduce toxic emissions that are contaminating the environment, polluting our air and water, and changing our climate. If efficient electrified systems are deployed to applications around the world, they could reduce fossil fuel consumption on a scale that could quite literally save the planet. Until next time.